from the footage of us arriving by car this time, something we rarely do. We're in the city again, this time we're off to the opera. Something that we enjoy doing but I don't get to do that often. Although fingers crossed we do have another opera trip coming up later in the year. Anyway, I'm just off to the theatre now to meet Will. Really looking forward to it. Uh, we both love opera and don't get much of it where we live so we have to make the effort to come to the city but it's always a pleasure so um, I'm just off there now maybe I'll show you a little bit inside of the theatre and then I'll catch up with you again tomorrow I used to see more but it's just my book As you can see, I'm in the hotel and actually I'm just about getting ready to check out. This morning in the city, I'm going to go to the gallery, the National Gallery of Victoria and spend a large part of the day there looking around all the galleries. It's a huge gallery um, because <laughs> Will's gone off to a woodworking um, convention or a woodworking show called Wood Dust with a friend of his. Um, you may or may not see some footage of uh, that event because it depends on whether Will wants to or remembers to film. Anyway, so you'll either see some footage or you won't. Um, and as I say, I'm just about to check out, but I thought I'd just quickly show you uh, the views from the windows in this hotel room. We pretty much always stay in this hotel. It's such a great location. So this room's actually got uh, two windows. So out this side, we've got this lovely view that we've seen before. So this is the area where the um, Australian Open is held. And this is the MCG, the famous cricket and Australian rules football stadium. This is one of the art centers, but not the one that we went to. You can't see it from here because it's tucked behind this apartment block. Another overcast day, but you know, I'm living for that. I don't mind gloomy weather. In fact, it's my favorite type of weather. But then uh, on this side of the room, we have this much, much bigger window with a view that we haven't seen before because we don't normally have a window on this wall. So this is more of the cityscape. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a giant, let me zoom you in giant golden bee on this building where actually there's a couple and then I think it's this tower block here it has a platform that comes out with like a glass floor um, we're on level 20 in this hotel and this tower block is much much higher so just to give you an idea don't quote me on that, I might be mistaken, it might not be this um, this tower block, but I think it is. So anyway, just to give you a sense of scale, not for the faint-hearted, not for those who don't trust engineering, and not for those who don't like heights. All the happenings on the street below. It's Sunday morning, so it's very, very quiet. Anyway, it's been a lovely trip, fleeting. More safe for you than me. <laughs> I'm not going to feel myself going around the shops again. We've only just recently had that. Um, and if you haven't seen that film, then you can go back in time and watch it if you're interested. Melbourne's a beautiful city and some of the covered arcades are stunning and there's some beautiful shops and things to see. Anyway, so I got that out of my system yesterday prior to the opera, which, by the way, was amazing. It was a concert performance of Wagner's opera, Tannhäuser, and it was fabulous. Um, everyone went mad for it, the crowd was very appreciative and it was a wonderful evening. So uh, on that, I might catch up with you again actually in a bit in the gallery just to give you a flavour of what's that like, uh, what that's like. Um, I've taken you there before but only very briefly and I think I only filmed the exterior because I was a bit shy <laughs> at the time. Um, anyway, so we might uh, catch up again in a bit and I can show you some of the beautiful 
artifacts and artworks in the gallery. Morning. I'm out in a couple of local towns today running some chores and I thought I may as well bring you along with me since the large part of this um, this week's video was in Melbourne um, we're probably not going to get to spend too much time at home on the property this week so <laughs> we may as well go off on another adventure together this is a town called Lakes Entrance it's uh, known for its harbour, which is over there to my right. Um, a safe harbour from the sea, which is just ahead of me over the dune system. Uh, on the lake system, it's beautiful. The water's lovely and calm. Now, actually, it was supposed to be very windy today, so I thought, well, that's excellent. I'll head down to the beach to show you the beach, and it'll be all dramatic, and the sea will be wild and frothy. But there's not a bit of wind at the moment, so um, it may well not be as dramatic as I hoped that it would be. Nevertheless, I've been to Lake City before, but I don't think I've actually been to the, the big beach here. So uh, we'll go and have a look and I'll show you what that's all about. Here we go. As you can clearly see, I'm now on the beach with the dunes to the left of me, the right of me. Behind me is the lifeguard station. Case notoriously treacherous, so whilst you are permitted to go in the water in the summer, um, you have to go for your own safety in a certain designated part of the beach, patrolled by lifeguards. It's not so much the animals, it's the currents, the actual sea itself, that is a little bit dangerous. <laughs> what a pity, <laughs> the sea is not as exciting as I hoped it was going to be. You know, obviously the sea is always exciting, Look calmer. I'm just heading down closer to give you a sense of scale. Where I lived in the Scottish borders, there was a beach in Northumberland, very similar to this. Just goes 
I'll just stand here for a, a second and just capture the sound of the ocean for you. Because I mentioned it on the way to the beach. Here's all the uh, all the boats. <laughs> don't know if you can see that noisy bird the type of bird we don't get at home. We rainbow or a beach. I'm talking about that. You can see why it's called this, although it's quite far away and I haven't seen it. In. They're very, very beautiful birds, all the colours of the rainbow. But they're pleasantly noisy.